Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to your last video in chapter 12. Tonight we are going to look at the concentrations of solutions. Concentration is defined as the amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent. So we know that when you dissolve a solute in a solvent, we get a solution. So often when we look at solutions, we just describe them as dilute or concentrated, but these aren't really precise terms. So we want to look at what is this concentration? How much is actually dissolved inside of this solvent? And there's two different ways we can look at concentration or two different ways that we can calculate it. The first way we're gonna look at this is through molarity. Now molarity is capital M and you're going to need to have a difference between your capital M's and your small m's because it does or it will play a factor in solving for concentration which you're going to see in a second so molarity is capital M we find molarity by taking the moles of solute and dividing it by the total liters of the whole solution so let's look at a problem so we have 3.5 liters of solution. It contains 90 grams of sodium chloride. What is its molarity? Well, we need to find moles. Once again, we are looking at then a plug and chug type problem. So we need to find our moles and we need to find liters. Well, here we have liters. So that is going to be the bottom. And then we have to find moles. Well, there's no moles in here, but we do have grams. And by this point, we should be very good at changing grams into moles. So let's walk through it. So let's start with our 90 grams of NaCl. And times a line. You don't want grams, so grams goes on bottom. We're going to convert it into moles. Now again, where do we get this number from? Well, this is our molar mass. So we look up Na and Cl. So Na is 23. We're going to add it to Cl, which is 35. And that gives us 58 grams. So 90 divided by 58 is 1.55 moles. So there's our moles. Now we just needed to divide this by our liters of solution, which is 3.5 liters. And we do our math and we get 0.44 capital M so that would be pronounced as 0.44 molar. Not too bad. No big stoichiometry going on. Just some more, some more changing from grams to moles. Look at another one. We have 0.8 liters of a 0.5 molar HCl solution. So how many moles of HCl does it contain? So we're still looking at that same equation. So we still have moles over liters equals capital M. We just plug in what we know. So we have this for our liters and we have this for our molarity. That means what we don't know is moles so that becomes X. So it's just as easy as that. Again, plug and chug. So if we're going to set up this equation we have X moles because we don't know what that is over 0.8 liters equals 0.5 capital M. So once you have your problem set up like this, there's uh, two different ways you can go about doing it. If you like your equal fractions, you can put 0.5 over 1 and then cross multiply to make sure that everything is set up correctly. Or since it's easy to solve for x when x is on the top, you can just multiply both sides by 0.8 so that 0.8 cancels and it's just a simple algebra problem. 
So either way you're going to do it, you're going to get the same math. It's just a matter of how you like to look at it. So you're going to have 0.8 times uh, 0.5. Put an X instead of our little dot for times so that we're not too confused. And that gives us 0.4 moles of HCl. And that's all they're asking us for. So again, if they give you the molarity, it's easy to do. All you have to do is plug it into the right spots in the equation. Let's look at one more. So again, we're given the molarity, you can see here. And we are given grams. So we want to know how much of the solution we need. So how much, in this case, they're asking us for liters because it's of the solution. So we're going to plug into our equation what we know. So we have 23.4 grams of K2CRO4. Well, we know we don't work in grams, so we've got to change this into moles. So let's start there. So I have 23.4 grams of K2CRO4 and I'm going to times a line, put grams on bottom, one mole on top, and let's add it up. So K is 39, and we have two of them. We're going to add that to 52, and then we add that to 16 times 4, and we come up with 194 grams. So 23.4 divided by 194 is 0.12 moles. So now we have our top number, 0.12 moles divided by x, because we don't know our liters this time, so x is not going to be on bottom. And this is where I would definitely set up equal fractions. You guys are or I'm finding that we aren't setting our math or not doing our math right when X is on the bottom. We saw a lot of these little mistakes in the last chapter. So the easiest thing to do is set up an equal fraction like we did in the last one. Otherwise, you're trying to divide by 0.12 on both sides, which is right, but then you have to realize that your answer is 1 over X. And you guys were giving me that as your answer to x, which isn't really right. You would need the reciprocal of that. So let's set this up as an equal fraction and then cross multiply. That's going to give us our best way of trying to get all of those little mistakes out of the way. So this is then going to equal our molarity, which is 6m. And again, put it over 1, and it's not changing anything in our equation. So then we can take 0.12 times 1 and divide it by 6. So 0.12 times 1 divided by 6. That's what I'm doing here. And when we do that, we get 0.02 liters of solution. So the second way we can look at concentration is by looking at molality. Molality is little m. So there's our difference. Molarity is going to be capital M. Molality is going to be the small m. So you've got to watch for that in the problems. What kind of M are they giving you? Yes, it's a little confusing, but it's not too bad as you get through it. So the equation starts out the same. We're still moles of solute. But what is different is that on the bottom, instead of liters, we're at kilograms of solvent. So we're not looking at the total solu solution, but we're comparing the solute to the solvent. Instead of how much solute do I have in the solution, this time I'm comparing amounts of solute I have per amount of solvent that I have. 
So we use this when we're studying properties related to vapor pressure and temperature changes. So all of those things with the gas laws, if we're looking at concentrations, uh, we're going to be using molality. And you'll see us use molal molality then in chapter 13 as we continue on. So a solution was prepared by dissolving 17.1 grams of C12 H22O11 in 125 grams of water. So what is the molal concentration? Now the hardest part about these problems uh, is maybe determining which one is the solute and which one is the solvent. Because you can see they're both in grams, but one of them we're going to have to change to kilograms and the other one we're going to have to change to moles. So you've got to kind of read through the question, figure out what is dissolving into what. The solute is the one that's getting dissolved into the solvent. So in this case, this is going to be our solute that is going to be dissolved into our solvent. So that means that this number here, we have to change to moles. And in this number here, we have to change to kilograms. So let's start with the moles. So I have 17.1 grams of C12 H22O11. I'm going to times my line. That's a nice big number to add up. So I have 12 times 12 plus 1 times 22 plus 16 times 11 and I get 342 grams under one mole. So 17.1 divided by 342 and I get 0 0.05 moles. Now if I want to change 125 grams into kilograms, well, I just move my decimal place one, two, three backwards. So if ever you're getting larger, you're moving to the left. So LL, larger left. So this becomes 0.125 kilograms. Now, just have to put them over each other. So 0 0.05 moles divided by 0.125 kilograms. And I get 0.4 molal, or small m. So this is where you'll have to keep track of really writing a capital M compared to a small m so I know which one you are talking about. Let's do another. What mass of iodine must be added to 100 grams of CCL4 to prepare a 0.48 molal solution? So we are looking for the mass of iodine. Since iodine is Hofbrinkel, it's going to have a 2, so don't forget that. We are adding it to 100 grams of CCL4, so that means this must be my solvent. And this would be then my solute. So my X is going to be on top. I already have my molality. So first thing, I need to change my 100 grams into kilograms. So 1, 2, 3. So 0.1 kilograms of CCL4. And that's going to go on bottom. So I'm going to have X moles over 0.1 kilograms equals 0.48 molal over 1. So 0.1 times 0.48 divided by 1 and I get x to equal 0 0.048 moles of I2. Well, I'm not done yet because this wants it in mass. So now I got to change moles back into mass. So I need to times the line. This time one mole is going to go on bottom because that's what I want to get rid of. And my mass is going to go on top. So I is 150 
54, or oops, sorry, 127, and we're going to multiply it by 2, and that gives me 254 grams. So now multiply 0 0.048 times 254, and I get 12.19 grams of I2. One last problem. What is the molality of a solution containing 18.2 grams of HCl and 250 grams of water? So this time it's not telling you what is going into what, but we know HCl is hydrochloric acid. Water is, well, water. They're both liquids. So usually the rule of thumb is that the larger one is your solvent. So in this case, water our 250 is going to be our solvent, and our 18.2 is going to be our solute. So remember, solutes get changed to moles, solvents get changed to uh, kilograms. So 18.2 grams of HCl times the line, grams over one mole uh, H1, plus Cl, 35, so I have 36 grams, 18.2 divided by 36, I get 0.51 moles. Now, changing 250 grams into kilograms, 1, 2, 3, so 0.25 kilograms, so 0.51 moles over point. 0.25 kilograms gives me 2.04 molal.